Orthodox Christian scholars around the world, actively involved in the life of the Church, are often isolated from each other. To overcome our isolation, we created the International Orthodox Theological Association, or IOTA for short. IOTA is a new community that promotes an international exchange of knowledge about the Orthodox faith and seeks to become a vehicle of pan-Orthodox unity. While IOTA is the smallest letter of the Greek alphabet, in one year our association has grown into a network of 150 well-respected Orthodox scholars from 30 countries. Besides theologians, IOTA includes philosophers, historians, social scientists, political scientists, and professionals. We welcome the scholars and scholar practitioners from other fields related to the Orthodox Christian studies. IOTA is organized into more than 20 groups, each representing a different area of study, including both traditional theological disciplines, such as biblical studies, enigmatic theology, moral theology, and liturgical studies, to newer fields, such as missiology, orthodox and international relations, orthodoxy and the public square, religion and science, and so on. These groups are a part of what one might call an Orthodox Republic of Letters, dedicated to free, honest and respectful exchange of ideas, helping the Church to grapple with the challenges of our time. In January 2018, the IOTA chairs in charge of individual groups met here in Jerusalem. We met for a symposium in the Holy City because we didn't only wish to think together, but also to pray together and to make a pilgrimage together. The purpose of this symposium was to start articulating a common vision for IOTA's future work and to develop plans for the inaugural conference in Romania. As far as the vision is concerned, IOTA needs to live up to its reputation of being the first letter of the word Jesus in Greek. In other words, we need to put Christ at the very center of everything the IOTA scholars say and do. We have also discussed the importance of maintaining balance within the association. Balance in the sense of allowing all respectable and well-grounded views on controversial questions to be discussed in an open manner. And balanced also in the sense of the representation of scholars from different cultural contexts reflecting the geography of the worldwide communion of the Orthodox churches. For example, IOTA's 150 scholars presently include an approximately equal number of scholars representing Greek, Romanian, and Russian traditions. The third aspect of IOTA's emerging vision is the need to meet each other in our particularity while striving to develop a common theological language. The inaugural conference is poised to accomplish these goals. Our inaugural conference will take place in the beautiful city of Yash, Romania, a year from now. We have the full support of the leadership of the Romanian Orthodox Church and a dedicated team led by our side chair, Catalin Jekyll, that is working hard to make this conference a success. We are encouraged by the fact that over 80 Orthodox scholars have already accepted our invitation to present papers at over 25 
conference sessions. While the overarching theme is pan-Orthodox unity, the range of topics is quite broad, from perennial questions to historical matters to the burning problems of our time. We wish to make the conference as open and as affordable as possible in order to attract some well-established scholars and junior talent. We also plan to have ecumenical observers in our midst. We expect that over 200 scholars will attend the event. If you would like to learn more about a new community firmly rooted in the Church and her proclamation of Christ, dedicated to free and balanced exchange of ideas, visit our website. There, you can subscribe to IOTA newsletter and submit a proposal to our inaugural conference. Thank you for watching us. We hope to see you in Yash in January 2019.